2020 has been a year like never before for me and my family. Wait, 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 I can't, wait a minute. One more time, I'm sorry, what? Holly, I'm sorry, I, it's, I gotta go. Like, right now. Tony called and she told me that Tamar was rushed to the hospital because she tried to commit suicide. Welcome back. That was the trailer, part of the trailer, season seven of the WE TV reality show, Braxton Family Values. I'm here with Tamar Braxton, who left the show last year. Tamar, that was a uh, scene of your family. You're shaking your head, why? Is that real? Um, I, I wasn't there, so yeah. I don't know. Um, but I, I'm, I'm still having a hard time trying to figure out What's the premise? Is this to inspire, to help people with mental illness, to help Tamar with her new normal with depression and, and You're anxiety? You're saying you don't understand why it was played out on the show? I, I don't. Okay. What happened, again, going back to the day? And I, yeah. I don't, it's a very difficult question asking someone about the day they say they wanted to die. Yeah. But you'd been summoned back to work. You were not planning on going back. You were, were you at home at the time? Yeah. Did you take pills? It's so hard to say, Tamara, because I feel like there's a responsibility for, you know, I call them family, my fans who watch. I don't want to give any examples. I understand. But what I will say is that was my lowest point of life. Had you ever tried to take your life before? Um, I'm just going to be 100%. Um, there has been a time where I wanted to. But this was the first time was... you acti acted on it. Yeah. Have you since tried to take your own life? No. Um, it's been a lot of dark, hard times. Have you been diagnosed with depression? Um, yes, I was diagnosed with depression and anxiety due to a circumstance. Are um, you medicating no, yourself? No, I'm not medicated. Um, but I am in counseling every You're in single counseling day. Every day. Every I have day. to ask you about these allegations from yeah. your former fiance. Um, he has spoken out on YouTube. He also spoke out uh, in People magazine, and he has now filed a restraining order against you. Uh, his allegations include physical violence toward him. He says that you were in a vehicle, and you attacked him. Did you assault? your former fiance? Absolutely not. You have never physically... Listen, let me tell you something, Tamara. I am a survivor of a domestic violence relationship. Mm -hmm. And not at any point was David and I in an abusive relationship. He says you, you videotaped it and that you threatened to no, show... No, I, I voice recorded it. He videotaped it. He has a camera in his car. Does that video or your voice recording show any physical abuse? No, it doesn't. I mean, he showed him text messages and between he and I. But nothing that substantiates. You say what? No, which I, is... he has the videotape. He has it. It was in his car. Release it. No, let me tell you something, Tamara. I loved David. He was my best friend. He was an amazing, amazing partner. He was my son's best friend as well. They were best friends. And it's just so hard because through everything else, I never expected this from him. Now, I have to be real with myself. Was, is he acting like this because he found me the way that he found me? Probably. I don't know. We're going to let you get yourself together. I'm going to be back with more. I'm going to find out what is next for the Braxton family. And Tamar will tell us more about the help she says she is getting to mend her life when we come back. We're back, and I'm here with my exclusive interview with former reality star Tamar Braxton following her revelation of her attempt to take her own life following a breakup with her family and the network that carried the family's popular show. Tamar, just, uh, there's so much. Is this the price of fame? 
Because I remember watching the first version of your family show, and there you were. You were married at the time. You're talking about your career and wanting a child, and you were the... I don't like using the word sassy, but you're the you're the sister that everyone wanted to hang out with, <laughs> you know? Is this the price for that? I don't know what the price is for fame, um, but I do know that the wages of sin is death and the gift of God is eternal life. And I know that if you're not rooted and guided, you know, by the Holy Spirit and by your faith, you will fall into, you know, the things that you don't want to be a part of, you know? Did you, you know, lose your faith? I lost my faith. I lost my sense of what I knew, what was right. Um, I, I, I didn't always treat people kind and I wasn't always fair and I didn't always watch my mouth and, you know, do the right thing, but that is my goal now, you know? The things that I've been through, I just felt like God brought me from there to bring me here, to be an example, to be better, do to do better. Do you think a lot of those things, I was reading social media, I know you posted this, you know, telling people you're gonna come on the show and yeah, you were very yeah. upset that the show was still airing and the episodes were airing. It wasn't about it airing, it was, it was about the responsibility of mental health and right. the responsibility of suicide. It's a very serious thing. Everything is not for entertainment. Absolutely, and that's the point that I wanna make because yeah. did you feel and do you feel that these shows, and I say these shows in general, yeah. but the reality world, yeah. sometimes it starts out as fun. It does. And then it spirals into these physical fights and other behavior that don't necessarily reflect you, yeah. but the audience believes it is you. Yeah. And I say that because I went online just to see what some of the people were saying. She's a troublemaker and she, you know, you did this and the way you treated other people. And I thought, wait a minute, she's saying I'm struggling mentally. Yeah. So much so that I don't want to be on this planet anymore, but people still conflate the Tamar on the show yeah. who told others to get your life right <laughs> and who seemed to judge others so yeah, harshly. I did. I did. Did you feel the weight of that? Like people you don't understand, they're uh, not the same. Yeah, you know, I think it has everything to do with um, not understanding mental health and the stigma that it has around it. But do you even understand this for who you are? I think it's almost like, a, you know how your body dysmorphia, where you look and you see something uh, yeah. different? Yeah. So you have a, a Tamar dysmorphia. Do you know any more after all of those seasons yeah. of, you say, kind of being goaded into and doing some of this on your own? Absolutely. Absolutely. And now looking at, do you even know who you are? That's really funny that you said body dysmorphia because I just thought of mental dysmorphia. <laughs> Right? You don't know you're crazy until, not just crazy, but you don't know that something is off until you really go and seek help, you know? Yeah, yeah. And I'm so glad that the word crazy jumped out because people often equate mental health with crazy. Right. And that's and that, not and true. And that's true. Well, you I know? wanna know That's about... a habit that we, we use, because right? You will never be able to heal until your family and you have this conversation. Because at the heart of this, again, this is very serious allegation I've never heard in my life that you believe someone in your family told producers this secret. I don't believe anything that's a fact. It actually happened. Um, are you prepared to talk to them? What happens? Um... I wouldn't go as far as say I'm estranged from all of my family. Just It's so funny because when you unfollow people on social media, that means you have no communication, period. So you are talking. <laughs> I, I talk to my mother every single day. Um, but I, I know what it's like. I know what it's like, you know, when you're in that position. Why would you, un I guess, the, unfollowing them on social media, I think, Tamar, just feeds the fire. It's, it's like, again, it's some kind of cry for attention. You're talking to your mother. You know people are watching. To, for the frivolous to the meaningful. Yeah, but and I you're trying also know to my heal. triggers. And I also know that I don't want to see certain things on my feed. So are you, are you trying to mend things with your sisters? Look, I love my sisters. What do you want from them? I um, feel like I have what I want from them. I have their love. I know my family loves me. So are you past the revelation that was, without your permission, you say, given out? Um, I can't. 
I know everybody wants me to blame my family, but you no, have to I don't. understand I don't. what happens. No, 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 no. You I know, when you clear. sign up for something like this and, and you have the kind of people behind the scenes that you have. I don't want you to blame anyone. Yeah, I'm not. I want you to have peace as a yeah. mom to mom. Yeah. So yeah. I don't want you to blame anyone. Yeah. I'm asking you, the people who've been in your corner for all these years, yeah. your family, yeah. from what I understand, it, you're at odds over something. Yeah, it's hurtful. It's hurtful. So how do you move forward with these sisters who've been there through thick and thin for you that you clearly love? Your well, mother is watching. Yeah. What do you, what would you like to see moving forward, Tamar? Forgiveness. Do you both, forgive them? On both sides. On both There's sides. things that I have done that I am not, you know, happy about and that I'm not proud of. I've had my dark moments with my family and where I okay. feel like I'm sure that I've betrayed them at some point. And I feel like forgiveness right. all the way around. Are you done with reality TV for uh, a while? Not for a while, forever and ever, amen. <laughs> um, okay. That kind of television. Yeah. That, so you're um, walking away from that. Um, I feel like that's the best thing for me. I'm I doing other things thing. with television, <laughs> which I think I'm really excited thing. about, but it's... I don't feel like I need to give a depiction of my life and what's yeah. happening and a play-by-play -play and yeah. who I'm dating and how my kid is Well, going. you have the podcast now. I know it. it's called Tamar Under Construction. Yeah. We all are under construction. Girl. We're all a work in progress. <laughs> I'm happy to see that you are trying something new yeah. to have your voice heard yeah. in the podcast. Yeah. Um, as I said before, I take this seriously, yeah. the allegations of domestic violence. Me too. The pain of being in a room, feeling like you don't want to wake up knowing you have a child who wants to spend days, nights, and years with you. So I don't fall into this reality show world. This is real. I appreciate that. You know. And I just want you to get better. And I want other people to see in you, not the reality Tamar. Yeah, but that the real Tamar, the Tamar that's under, the, under construction. Well, show, and... us. show us, show us, <laughs> show us, because I know there's a, I've talked to a lot of the people who know you behind the scenes. Yeah from staff and otherwise, and they all say you're a wonderful person. Yeah. Just show us. Well, you know, first, I am dedicated to showing okay. myself. All right. So there you have it. Right. <laughs> Tamar Braxton, thank you thank so you much. Thank you,